Hello everyone. In this video, we're going to be solving a polynomial equation. We've done a similar problem with the fourth power. This time we're going to be using the third powers. I'll be presenting uh, sort of three methods. Let's start with the first one. So for, for my first method, I'm going to be using difference of two cubes. Let's remember the formula. A cubed minus B cubed can be written as A minus B multiplied by A squared plus AB plus B squared. So if we use that formula, we're going to go ahead and put it here, X cubed minus X minus 1 cubed. Then we can write it as X minus X minus 1 and then multiply that by X squared plus X times X minus 1 plus X minus 1 squared. And then Obviously, this is equal to 0, right? x minus x minus 1 is going to be 1 because you're going to negate the negative and x is going to cancel out. So we just have to focus on the second factor. That's going to be x squared plus x squared plus x squared, which is 3x squared minus x minus 2x. That's minus 3x plus 1, okay? And if you try to solve this equation, you're going to get a quadratic. But before that, I wanted to show you a graph uh-oh, we have the graph of x cubed equals x minus 1 cubed, but unfortunately, even at the 1 million level, there's no graph. Why? Because these two curves, let's find out. So if you try to solve this quadratic equation, what happens? You get the following. x equals negative b plus minus the square root of b squared, which is 9, minus 4ac, which is 12, divided by 2a, which is 6. Well, 9 minus 12 is negative, so that's going to give you the square root of a negative number, which is, you know, the complex, a complex number. We can write it as square root of 3i divided by 6. And obviously, this can be simplified. You can divide everything by 3. 1 plus minus, well, no, no, actually, you can't do that, right? Because we have the square root of 3. There you go. You can't do it. So that's basically going to be the answer, right? Okay. So we don't have any real solutions. Interesting. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the second method. Maybe there's an easier way to do it, right? Well, an easier method couldn't be just cube root both sides, right? We did it with the fourth powers. Well, if you do cube root both sides, you're going to get x equals x minus 1. Uh-oh, that's not good. Okay, so that doesn't give us any solutions. So let's go ahead and take a look at the third method. The third method should be the most obvious. Just expand it, right? So we have x cubed equals x minus 1 cubed. If you expand x minus 1 cubed using the binomial theorem, you're going to get x cubed minus 3x squared plus 3x minus 1. In this case, x cubed cancels out. You can put everything on the left-hand side to make the x squared positive. 3x squared minus 3x plus 1 equals 0. And as before, you do get a quadratic equation whose roots are non-real complex numbers. And we can write them as x equals 3 plus minus square root of 3i divided by 6. All right? Now let's go ahead and take a look at something else. How about graphing these two separately, x cubed and x minus 1 cubed? Obviously, these are the, the cubic functions. So when you take a look at x minus 1 cubed, it's the same graph. It's just moved one unit to the right. So it's shifted, right? And they don't have any intersection points. Therefore, there are no solutions. Correction, there are no real solutions. And this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe. I'll see you tomorrow with another video. Until then, be safe, take care, and bye-bye.